We have some new and breaking information on that unbelievable story that came out of Okawaha, Florida, a little town of, gosh, population 1,500 in Marion County, Florida. Three teenagers found dead, you know, between Thursday night and Saturday morning. All of them friends, all of them knew each other, not far away, their bodies discovered. Two 16-year-olds and a 17-year-old. And tonight, exclusive information about what may have happened. And here's what I can tell you. The first teenager, 16-year-old Layla Silvernail, where her body was dumped beside a dumpster, a witness called in and actually said that they saw her vehicle slow rolling right into that dumpster and then shortly thereafter speeding away. And now we know that the police have surveillance video of that event. They now know at 1048 on Thursday night that happened and surveillance video caught her vehicle rolling into the dumpster at a slow rate of speed and then speeding away. The witness just thought it was a normal call and called into the police but did not see a body being dumped. But then, obviously, police started to find other bodies. The body of a 17-year-old boy found Friday morning. The body of 16-year-old Camille Quarles, who was identified by a family member as the third victim, found Saturday afternoon inside of Layla Silvernail's vehicle, which was by this point submerged. I want to bring in now Sheriff Billy Woods of Marion County, who's been working this case. He and his deputies have been uh, hard at work day in, day out, trying to track suspects. And from what I understand, Sheriff, you're making some progress. You have put out a number of uh, subpoenas and search, or nearly a half dozen search warrant, numerous subpoenas. Are you close to making an arrest? Well, each day we are getting closer and closer. You know, you're absolutely correct. We've got information that uh, I'm able to give out uh, at this time uh, that's been helping us. And I, I want viewers to know, especially in the community, uh, of the assurance in which I had to give to them so that they knew that we didn't have a serial killer and this was an isolated incident. And you mentioned earlier uh, regarding the evidence in which we have, you know, um, and here, here's the things that I can tell you right now. We have several cell phones. We have cell phone records. We have DNA from the vehicle, and we have latent prints from the vehicle. Now, the key, and you've already mentioned it, the key here is that we have obtained uh, two surveillance videos, the one just prior to the incident, and then uh, one at the end in which I put out on social media a picture of the vehicle and giving of a specific time frame. And combined with what you just uh, told your viewers about our first caller and the witnesses, the only thing that we can logically conclude is correct of what you said, that the suspect fled the scene, uh, suspects fled the scene in the victim's vehicle. And what is important for the viewers is we need to narrow that time frame down. And like I told them on social media, and like I'm going to tell your viewers here right in now, is no matter how small they think that information is, it could be just simple of seeing it at this time at a certain location can be very key to our investigation. And also, if anyone driving in that neighborhood at this, during that time frame can tell us that they saw individuals in the vehicle, how many individuals in the vehicle, and maybe they recognized individuals in the vehicle. And that is important information for, uh, for us to have. And we know at this point, Sheriff, correct me if I'm wrong, that you are seeking more than two suspects at this time, correct? That is correct. Did the witness who called in that slow roll of Layla Silvernail's vehicle into the dumpster and then the speeding away of her vehicle, did that witness see anybody in the vehicle or at least a number of people in the vehicle? Um, no, I, I can't get into great details uh, on, and, and sometimes when witnesses see incidents, um, uh, especially late at night, they don't have a great view, they don't see everything or they don't remember. Um, one other but information, you know, Sheriff, you know for sure that it is the suspects who were driving that vehicle away. Is that correct? It doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure that one out. Thank you for watching.
Go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.